Audubon has a wonderful program of maintaining sanctuaries. They also have a terrific education program. So I think there was a lot of synergy that made Mass Audubon a more obvious choice for us. Marsh is so special because you have 481 acres of land that have been permanently protected. Here you've got three and a half miles of trails that people can walk on. It's also the largest freshwater restoration in the state of Massachusetts and as far as we know in the Northeast. It's a place where you can really see the story of hope. One of the most exciting parts of restoration is seeing how quickly things return. Uh, plant life, animal species, uh, fisheries, and you get to see that not just immediately but ongoing for the next few years, decades. We have a large diversity of birds here, we have a large diversity of frogs and snakes and reptiles and amphibians, we have a large diversity of insects and plants. There's really something for everyone of, of every age um, and every interest to, to come and do at Tidmarsh. The most exciting thing about Tidmarsh from an educational perspective is being able to bring people to Tidmarsh and provide opportunities for them to observe and experience a landscape in restoration transforming over time. I grew up in a location along a coastline where rapid development was happening and I was also kind of sold this story that once this type of landscape was gone, it was gone forever. So for me, there's also a very exciting message that our education programs can convey about hope, that with the right science, with the right technology, with the right engineering, with the right vision, we can restore these spaces back to their more wild state, more natural state, and it can be a place that's rich in wildlife, ecosystems for people to explore and for people to visit and enjoy. There's been a lot of discussion recently about how nature will help people in the age of climate change, doing things like storing carbon, storing floodwaters, blunting the impact of storm surge. Tidmarsh will do all of those things by restoring three and a half miles of stream channel, reconnecting it to the sea for the first time in 120 years, and creating a much more diverse landscape of habitats. People can get involved at Tidmarsh by going to our website. There you can learn about programs, opportunities to volunteer, how to support our latest projects out here. You can also just come and visit the sanctuary and see our 481 acres, our miles of hiking trails, the birds and wildlife that are out here. And I'd personally like to invite each and every single one of you to come and experience this wonderful place.